So the state of Virginia just sent a letter to the Supreme Court saying that they have changed their minds and now they agree that the New York concealed carry restrictions are in fact unconstitutional. So let's talk about this. But real quick before I jump into this video, I think I need to give you guys an important update about something that's going on with the channel and also something that's kind of going on in my personal life. As many of you are aware, over a year ago, I left working for a private firm to join the Firearms Policy Coalition and work with them. Also during that period of time, I've been promoting FBC here on the channel as a title sponsor. Unfortunately, I need to let you all know that my relationship with FPC has run its course and I will no longer be working with FPC and I will no longer be promoting them here on this channel as a sponsor. So some of you may have questions about why that is. And unfortunately, I can't get into any details. However, I just also want to let you guys know that uh, you will still see me reporting and promoting cases and things that FPC is doing here on this channel. And I will be talking about things that I think they're doing that actually is bringing value to the community. But going forward, I will no longer be associated with FPC in any way. Now, this doesn't mean that I'm leaving the Second Amendment fight by any means. I actually have some really big things in the works that I'm currently excited about and that I'm working on. I think it's going to be good for the channel and the community. And when I actually finalize some of those things, I will definitely update you guys. However, you will likely now see me working with different 2A organizations at a national level and at a state level as well. You also may see a variety of organizations being promoted here on this channel instead of just one. So that's just a quick kind of rundown update about what's going on in my life, what's going to be going on with the channel. And I wanted to fill you all in since I value this community and I think you all should know actually what's going on. I want to thank you all for your continued support. All these opportunities and all the things I get to do would not be possible without your support. And because of you guys, I feel really blessed and I feel really grateful because you guys are amazing. None of this would be possible without you. And I really do feel very blessed and grateful to have a community like you guys. Now, enough of that. Let's talk about what's going on with the Supreme Court. So like I said in the intro, in this video, I want to talk about how the state of Virginia just flipped sides and now they are arguing to the Supreme Court that the New York concealed carry restrictions are in fact unconstitutional. Now, for those of you who are not aware of what's going on in the Supreme Court, let me explain real quick. New York State Rifle and Pistol Association v. Bruin is a challenge to the state of New York's concealed carry permit requirements. The state requires a person to provide proper cause to be issued a permit to carry concealed. The issue is that the state of New York does not consider self-defense a proper cause, and therefore on that justification alone, people have their permits denied. Essentially, a person has to distinguish themselves from the average person to be granted a permit to carry. So the whole question is whether the state of New York violated the Second Amendment with their May issue licensing scheme that does not treat self-defense as a sufficient justification for a permit to be granted. Now, later last year, the Supreme Court heard oral arguments in this case, which is very important because it's one of the first Second Amendment cases that the Supreme Court has heard and will rule on in a very long time. For reference, there are only really about four Supreme Court decisions that touch directly on the Second Amendment and issues relating to the Second Amendment. Those cases are Miller, McDonald, Caetano, and the landmark case Heller. Since there is just a handful of cases the Supreme Court has actually decided, this area of Second Amendment law just really hasn't been fully flushed out. The result of that is that lower courts have essentially run amok and made up rules and decisions as they go. Now, in the lead up to the Supreme Court hearing this case, multiple states joined together to file amicus briefs. There was a contingency of states that supported New York's restrictions, and then there was also a contingency of states that thought what New York was doing was actually unconstitutional. Virginia originally was part of the group that supported New York's concealed carry restrictions. Well, now we have a letter that was filed by Virginia to the Supreme Court notifying the court that Virginia has pretty much seen the light and they're going to join the pro-constitution side. So here's the letter that Virginia sent to the Supreme Court. It states, Dear Mr. Harris, This case involves a statutory scheme in New York that allows a member of the public to obtain a license to carry a concealed handgun for the purpose of self-defense only if a licensing officer determines that proper cause exists for the issuance of the license. The proper cause standard requires New Yorkers to demonstrate that they have a special need for self-protection distinguishable from the general community. In practice, this standard strictly limits the number of New Yorkers who may carry firearms outside the home for self-defense. New York City, for example, instructs permitting officers to consider whether a licensed applicant demonstrates extraordinary personal danger 
documented by proof of recurrent threats to life and safety. The district court held that New York's handgun licensing laws did not violate the Second Amendment of the United States Constitution. The Second Circuit summarily affirmed, this court granted certiorari on the question whether New York's denial of petitioners' applications for concealed carry licenses for self-defense violated the Second Amendment. Virginia joined a group of 18 states and the District of Columbia, contending that the New York permitting scheme was constitutional because of the public carry of firearms was subject to substantial and varied forms of regulation throughout Anglo-American history. Following the change in administration on January 15th of 2022, the Attorney General has reconsidered Virginia's position in this case. The purpose of this letter is to notify the court that Virginia no longer adheres to the arguments contained in its previously filed brief. Virginia is now of the view that New York's handgun permit regime is irreconcilable with the Second Amendment to the United States Constitution, which secures an individual right to bear arms outside the home for self-defense. Virginia now urges this court to reverse the Second Circuit. First, New York's requirement that its citizens show proper cause to carry a handgun in public is incompatible with the original public meaning of the Second Amendment. In D.C. v. Heller, this court held that the Second Amendment secures an individual right that is intimately connected to the right to self-defense as all Americans have the right to possess and carry weapons in case of confrontation. This right to individual self-defense, fully applicable to the states, is the central component of the Second Amendment right. Self-defense has to take place wherever the person happens to be, and in some circumstances, a person may be more vulnerable in a public place than in his own house. New York's permitting scheme prevents its citizens from exercising the fundamental right to repel force by force when the intervention of society in their behalf may be too late to prevent an injury in the places where they may be most vulnerable. Second, New York's handgun permit requirement is irreconcilable with Virginia's constitution and statutes. Like the Federal Second Amendment, Article 1, Section 13 of the Virginia Constitution enshrines an individual right to keep and bear arms. Moreover, Article 11, Section 4 of the Virginia Constitution protects the right to hunt game. This recent amendment demonstrates the extent to which the Virginia Constitution protects the right to bear arms outside the home because a right to hunt without being able to possess and transport firearms outside the home would be largely devoid of meaning. Finally, the Code of Virginia requires state authorities to issue concealed carry permits to any resident who applies and completes firearms proficiency training, subject only to limited exceptions. This amicus brief Virginia previously joined advocates for a statute that likely would not survive scrutiny under its own constitution, and that is deeply inconsistent with its own permitting statutes. It is Virginia's position that New York's proper cause requirement unconstitutionally prevents individuals from exercising their fundamental Second Amendment right to keep and bear arms outside the home. The Second Circuit below is just one of many courts that has been resisting the court's decision in Heller and McDonald and is failing to protect the Second Amendment to the same extent that they protect other constitutional rights. New York's restrictive laws violate the Second Amendment and should be struck down. I would appreciate it if you would circulate this letter to the members of the court, and then it is signed by the Solicitor General of Virginia. So through this letter, Virginia is joining the pro-freedom side of states that are arguing that the New York restriction on concealed carry are not consistent with the U.S. Constitution. Hopefully, the Supreme Court takes into account the overwhelming number of states which argued that this New York law is not constitutional and that it is a constitutional violation, uh, but we will have to wait and see how they rule. So if you guys have any questions, go ahead and comment down below and I'll try to answer the best of my ability. Also, if you like this video and like support the channel, one of the best ways to do that is to like, comment, and subscribe. All those things help to fuel the algorithm or fuel algorithm. rhythm. It adds fuel to his jet and it signals to YouTube that you guys see value in these videos and this type of 2 news. Again, I want to thank everybody who likes, comments, subscribes, who hits the notification bell, who shares these videos. You guys are directly impacting these videos, impacting this channel and helping me to spread Second Amendment information to share these videos and just educate as many people as I can. And I never would have thought any of this would be possible. And like I said at the beginning of the video, everything that I've got to do in my life at this point a uh, time, I never would have thought been possible. And it's because of you guys and the support you've shown me. So thank you so much for that. So as always, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And never forget this nation was built by arm scholars and this nation will be maintained by arm scholars.